The Power of Quiet Tones Introverts don't have it easy in life. This has never been the case, but in today's noisy world, where it's all about appearances and making a good impression, the quiet ones fall through the cracks. They are often passed over for promotion because people still stubbornly cling to the idea that the loudest people know everything best. As children and teenagers, introverts lead a life as outsiders. Even teachers at school don't recognize their true potential, instead criticizing lack of cooperation and judging their otherness as passivity and disinterest. Yet there is a true superpower in these quiet people, no less a figure than Albert Einstein, who also belonged to this special circle, observed, It is the monotony and solitude of a quiet life that stimulate the creative spirit. But introverts bring a lot more hidden superpowers to the table, which we'd like to briefly introduce to you here in today's video. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Psychology and Mind, activate the bell for notifications, and get excited for new videos uploaded every day. They're fantastic listeners. Since introverts don't like to push themselves to the fore, they prefer to let their counterpart lead the conversation. Not only does this give them the advantage of not having to come too far out of their shell, it also gives them a knowledge edge. Being able to listen well has almost become a dying art form these days. Most people don't listen. They just wait until they can take over the dialogue again. The quiet one, the quiet ones among us, on the other hand, enjoy it when someone else does the talking for them. This makes them good listeners, who also have a good memory for the things entrusted to them. Seen in this light, every conversation results in added value for both sides. They always look for the solution, not the problem. The few introverts who can bring themselves into play as managers and supervisors are characterized by a special problem-solving competence. They prefer to give their employees a free hand in their work, because in their eyes, everyone can be competent. They don't have the classic compulsion to control that the executive floor likes to fall prey to. However, if a problem is brought to their attention, or if they are asked for advice as private individuals, they can often spend days thinking about a solution. They use the silence and solitude of their lives to consider all possibilities. An introvert appears shy and reserved to those around them, but giving up or letting go are completely foreign to them. A problem is there to be solved. They are empathic. Those who spend a lot of time alone with themselves develop a good sense of interpersonal concerns. Other people mean not a little stress for introverts. What is a social gathering or a team meeting for everyone else is a real effort for the quiet ones. But they learn by observing and listening, so they get a much more detailed picture of their fellow human beings, can understand them better, and empathize with them. They are more creative than average. Their innate ways they've pursued from childhood are usually accompanied by a creative talent. Besides reading and listening to music, introverts are very gifted when it comes to creative hobbies. But this talent does not only show itself artistically, also their view on the world and on some tricky situations benefit from their ingenuity. This is then called upon without further ado, while others can only offer pure problem-solving skills. A combination of these two strengths always produces a bottom line. Their organizational skills are remarkable. Attentive listening, a creative streak, an empathetic nature, and a withdrawal from the world whenever possible make introverts the best organized people. From the sidelines, they always have a comprehensive view of what is happening. Those who don't necessarily always want to be the center of attention are better able to concentrate on the important things. It won't happen so quickly that these quiet fellow human beings miss a detail or forget something important. Those who prefer to spend time alone can optimally train their brain not to leave anything unconsidered. Productivity comes first. 
those who work quietly in the background have more time and therefore create more output than others. It's no wonder that the great discoverers and inventors were for the most part not party animals and solo entertainers. Instead, they preferred to spend every spare minute in their laboratories or workshops. Great achievements such as penicillin, the four-stroke engine, or electricity do not fall into a genius's champagne glass as a flash of inspiration in a noisy environment among loud strangers. Great artists and inventors have always had the reputation of being oddballs and loners. Introverts create their own world. They do this more out of necessity and not entirely voluntarily, because other people are simply not their cup of tea. But the results of this voluntary withdrawal are impressive. If something is important to them, they put their heart into it. Giving up is a word that does not appear in the vocabulary of an introvert. These people may seem reserved and sometimes a little odd, but they remain true to their principles and convictions. Once they are captivated by an idea, nothing and no one can stop them from pursuing it consistently. One of their secrets of success is not to do things by halves. When they burn for a cause, it is with body, mind, and soul. The most famous introverts who have actively shaped the history of science, business, and art were all also driven people. Once a sparkling idea manifests itself in a quiet but alert mind, everything becomes subordinate to this one vision. Family, friends, and even one's own health are put on the back burner in order to create an innovation from a promising flash of inspiration that can unhinge the world. They are intelligent and educated. Active listening, lots of alone time, and letting their minds wander contribute to the fact that the intellect of most introverts is excellent. From childhood, books are their best friends, even if sometimes that's just due to the fact that they can't or don't want to win over others. Their mind soaks up everything that happens around them like a sponge. Often, you don't even notice their presence, but nothing escapes them. For this reason alone, it is not only highly insensitive, but foolish to still overlook them in the job market. Their versatile talents could be of great benefit to many a company, if only people would take the trouble to recognize them. Today's conclusion, ahead of their time. Many great thinkers and inventors were ahead of their time. Introverts are no different at the moment. In the job market, many things speak and work against them. Open plan offices, Zoom meetings, meetings in groups, and the trend towards the best possible self-presentation are not ideal conditions for introverts to realize their full potential. Many of them remain below their professional potential for life because an adequate job would require far too much dancing on the vanity floor. Selling their own person and achievements is too much in the foreground. In their private lives, they have an easier time of it. They enjoy being alone and celebrate every moment of peace and seclusion with the best company of all, their own. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Did you find this information helpful? Do you have experience with it? We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. For more resources about mental health, self-improvement, and psychology, visit our website. You'll find the link in the video description where you can also connect with us on social media and sign up for our email list. Take care of yourself and have a beautiful day.